Hello everybody and welcome back to Elegant Meals. Still your host Harrison Burke. It's great to see you all again. I got something special for you all today. So I'm going to take you back and do a little something that my grandmother used to uh, make my mom all the time. My mom now passed it down to me and it is her famous banana bread. Very easy recipe. Uh, very few ingredients as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm very excited. So let's get started. All right, so after mixing in your, or creaming your butter with your sugar, uh, as well as beating in one egg at a time, now we're gonna mix in the bananas and go from there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so besides the other dry ingredients, you're going to take the 1 4th tablespoon of baking soda and mix it with approximately one tablespoon of, or one teaspoon of water. Once it's mixed well thoroughly, you're gonna add it to the mixture as well. All right, everybody, so once you get the mix just right, mixed well together with all the ingredients incorporated, but not mixing too much, as you can see. We got our pan greased with flour and oil ready to go. We're just gonna pour it straight in there. Make sure to take out any excess air bubbles or any uh, air pockets that might be in there. So all you gotta do is drop it a couple times. All right, there we go. We're going to bake it at approximately 350, starting at anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes and working our way up. Uh, obviously, it's going to rise, um, so just be aware of that. Make sure you use a, anywhere from a 2 to 3 inch, maybe even a 4 inch pan, depending on how much, uh, how much the recipe is yielding. Um, and then make sure after halfway through, you stick them and poke them with a couple of toothpicks or possibly a butter knife just to check to see if the mixture is done or could possibly go in for a little while longer. Look at this beauty. Look at that. So obviously don't take it out of the pan until it officially cools down. Plus uh, I took it out of the oven uh, a couple minutes before it was actually done just because of the, um, the overcooking. Since the pan is still hot, the bread is still hot, it'll continuously cook, uh, so we should be okay. And uh, that'll finish us off for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then please like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on those notifications for future videos. See y'all very soon, and enjoy your bread.